Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're doing well today. As you can see, I am at my table at my residence for the weekend. I'm so happy to be here. And Spirit um, just gave me some songs that let me know that this is going to be a very special reading. This is for a very special combination in a relationship together very special combination like you don't find this in a combination very often i think this is definitely going to be a twin flame but it's not a you got a story like you have a real complicated storyline and for some reason, you're not in the same town. You're living in separate places. I think you are from the same town. For some reason, oysters. I'm hearing oysters. Okay, so somehow oysters, you may be having them for dinner or you may live somewhere where you can get oysters. Let's see, what month is it? It's March, so you have to get oysters in months with an R, like November, December, we're about to come out of oyster season, so you may be, I don't know, somebody, I see a boat. You could be at the beach. Anyway, there's a very special relationship. And uh, I'm going to read about it. And the, the songs that I got were Halsey, Now or Never. And I'm going to tell you how that goes. I'm still trying to recover from this damn COVID. Halsey, Now or Never. I like this song. It's kind of cool. It goes like this. I don't want to fight right now. No, you always right now. No, I need you round with me, but nobody waiting round with me. Been through the ups. Yeah, the ups and the downs with me. Got a whole lot of love, but you don't want to spread it round with me. Yeah, never pick up, never call me. You know we're running out of time. Never pick up when you want me. Now I gotta draw a line. Baby, I done. So you only pick up or call when you want something. And now I gotta draw a line. Baby, I'm done. Done enough talking. Need to know that you're mine. Baby, we done, done enough talking. Gotta be right now, right now. Baby, gonna love me now, 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 or never. Hey, hey. I want you to hold me down, 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 forever, hey, hey. Said, you know, I want to keep you round, round forever, hey, hey. I want you to love me now or never. I'm turning off the light right now. I'm calling it a night now, wishing you were with me. But you're in a different town than me. We've been through it all. But you could never spit it out for me. Trying to talk to a wall. But you could never tear it down for me. Yeah, never pick up. Never call me. You know we're running out of time. Never pick up when you want me. Now I gotta draw a line. Baby, I done talking. Enough talking. Need to know that you're mine. Baby, we done. Done enough talking. Gotta be right now, right now. Baby gonna love me now or never. Hey, hey. I want you to hold me down, 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 forever. Said you know I want to keep you around, round, round, forever. I want you to love me now, 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 or never. Yeah, draw the line up. Don't take no more time up. Yeah, make your mind up. I need you to make your mind up. Yeah, draw the line up. Up. Don't take no more time up. Baby, you got to decide something. Let me know. Baby, going to love me now, 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 or never. I want you to hold me down, 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 forever. 
said, you know, I want to keep you around, around forever. Hey, 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 I want you to love me now, 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 or never. And I said, so what is this person going to decide to do? And I got this. Put me back together, Caitlin Smith. Ain't never met nobody who sees the stars the way you do. Nobody that can love me when I'm stumbling around the room. Put your hands on my body and you give me that ooh. And I know that you got me when I'm falling into you. You take me high when I'm dropping low. And you show me places I've never known. Even when we're just riding round town getting stoned. Boy, you put me back together again. My Coca-Cola Hennessy. Everybody says you're no good for me. But you're my fucked up remedy. Boy, you put me back together again. Ooh, when you're lying with me on the car hood, sharing cigarette dreams. You make me feel so classy like I'm an L.A. queen. You don't care that I'm broken. You don't care that I'm me. You just say that I'm golden like you're Jesus free. You take me high but I'm dropping low. And you show me places I've never known. Even when we're just riding around town getting stoned. Boy, you put me back together again. My Coca-Cola Hennessy. Everybody says you're no good for me. But you're my fucked up remedy. Boy, you put me back together again. Oh, you take me high when I'm dropping low. You show me places I've never known. Even when we're just riding around town getting stoned. Boy, you put me back together again. My Coca-Cola Hennessy. Everybody says you're no good for me. But you're my fucked up remedy. Boy, you put me back together again. So this is somebody that people feel like is not good for you. But you feel like this person is going to put you back together again. That's what it says they're going to do. They're going to put you back together again. So we're going to find out. Spirit, how would you like to begin this reading? Let's start with You Are Essential. May I have a message from You Are Essential, please, Holy Spirit? Message that would go perfectly with this reading. Love yourself. Love yourself. And where is your home? Self-trust is the first secret of success. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Loving yourself, truly loving yourself, lays a firm foundation for building the life that you want. Of course, even the most confident among us struggle sometimes when they look into the mirror. We all have weaknesses and flaws, areas we're ashamed of or embarrassed by, but sometimes those things aren't really flaws at all. We've just been looking at them the wrong way. Today, take a few moments and try to reframe your imperfections. You aren't combative. You are filled with passion. You aren't bossy. You're a natural leader. You aren't too much. You're just still finding the people who can handle you. You aren't a crybaby. You are deeply empathetic. You aren't a softy. You have a heart full of love. You aren't naive. You believe in the goodness of people. You are better, stronger, and more beautiful than you give yourself credit for. Let's start believing that. So start reframing your thoughts and loving yourself. Truly loving yourself. Even those parts of you that you feel like are broken. You don't care that I'm broken. You just say that I'm me. I'm like your Jesus freak. <coughs> And where is your home? Number 72 and 73 could somehow be significant. 37 and 27. As much as I converse with sages and heroes, they have very little of my love and admiration. I long for rural and domestic scene, for the warbling of birds and the prowling prattling of my children john adams oh my god i want my children back to be babies so bad 
They say home is where the heart is, but the home isn't necessarily a place. Home is wherever your family is. Whenever the people who love you best are waiting for you, wherever the people who love you best are waiting for you, your family might be your husband and kids or your mom and dad or your brother and sisters, or it may be a family that you've chosen made up of dear friends and trusted mentors. It is with your family that you can let down your guard and be open and vulnerable to learning and growing. It is when you are surrounded by love that you feel safe enough to take a risk. Families encourage us to fly, but also give us a safe place to land. Call your family today. Even if you are far from home, you are never far from their love. That's beautiful. So this person is like your family. And you're being encouraged to love yourself. Even with all of your flaws. That's beautiful. Alright, let's see how Spirit's working. Spirit, how are you working in this situation? May I see, please? How are you working in this relationship today? Ooh, that's a lot of cards. I'm not going to take that many cards. Thank you so very much. Temperance. So this, this relationship is being tempered. Sagittarius is here. There's a Sagittarius vibe to this already. The devil. You're being tempered, but you desire this a lot. Alright, what's the energy to overcome? You have a strong desire for this relationship. Judgment. Using good judgment, seeing the truth, knowing the truth. Seeing and knowing the truth, having the truth revealed. That's the energy to overcome is letting the truth come out. So maybe you're hiding this relationship. And what's going to pull it together? Now, 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 or never. Not ending it. Just simply not ending it. And there's going to be a tower. It's just not happened yet. You're going to realize that ending this relationship would not be a good idea. You're Right now, you're being self-controlled. You could have red hair. But you're going to realize that this is not the end of this relationship. Whatever this relationship has been through, it's done been through some hell. Look, the card's burnt. These cards have been burned, wet. <laughs> They've been through it. And this relationship has too. But this relationship is stronger than anything that could come against it um, that's what I'm hearing this relationship is very special and the two of you were meant to be together the stars align in your lifetime for this time in your lives for the two of you to I feel reconnect I feel a reconnection here I think you've been a part of each other's lives in the past somehow somehow purple flowers are significant somebody here wears dresses Somebody here sews. Okay. Let's find out what happened that you're telling this person it's now, 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 or never. You're, it's a friend of yours that you support, and they want a commitment from you. Or you might seek your friend's support when it comes to this commitment. What should I do about this commitment? I need my friend's support about this commitment. You might just be asking your friend, help me friend, what should I do about this commitment? Or it could be your friend. Ooh, you want to have a commitment with a new love. So, you want somebody new. This could be somebody new. You're considering somebody new and you're having to decide, should I give up this old love? This old love is special though, I feel that. Enough is enough. I want a damn commitment. <laughs> New love could mean recommitment to love. Like you all have been on the outs. Alright, show me how this happens, Spirit. Somebody's making silent moves. That's how this happened. Ooh. I'm making moves in silence. I don't want anyone to ruin my plans. What are you moving in silence about? What are you planning in silence? Fighting it. The harder I try to resist, the weaker I seem to be. What are you fighting? You're fighting against your feelings for someone, I think. Late nights, the waiting game, and learning your lesson. Yeah, you're tired of waiting and staying up late at night thinking about this. You've learned your lesson. 
You're making silent moves because you're tired of being up late thinking about this relationship. What's being hidden? It fell upright, so I'm going to give it to us upright that there's competition. So secretly there is competition. Ooh. How do you feel about the competition? It's your, the competition is your choice. How do they feel about you? They, they can't decide if there's no escape. They haven't decided if there's no escape for you. So you might be with somebody else and they haven't decided whether or not you're willing. There's no escape. It doesn't matter how far I run, my heart always comes back to you. There's no decision. I can't get away from this. It's your choice to be with the competition. Somehow you're choosing competition. And I can't decide because there's no escape. There's no decision to make. Clarify what you mean. Forever changed my life without even trying in reverse. Why is it in reverse? Because of online dating and a secret love that's not so secret. Alright, what's being shown? That something was unintentional, but you did it on purpose. You feel like you made a mistake. And you did not mean to keep to cause all these burdens. Alright. What's going to happen next? You're going to eliminate somebody. You're going to have an elimination. Can you clarify the elimination? I'm going to put the secret love back in. Clarify the elimination. Focus on yourself. You're going to eliminate all of these people. You're going to decide to focus on yourself. And there's something you haven't told. You're, like, you're not sending messages to somebody. Like You might be ignoring them. This is a special relationship though. So, But focusing on yourself could simply mean you're going to choose to love yourself. There's nothing wrong with focusing on yourself. Alright. Show me more about how this happened. Can I see more about how this happened? You wanted to spend time with somebody. And you had to do the damn dishes. <laughs> What's being hidden? That you don't have good boundaries. And what's being shown? That you're stressed. Why are you stressed? That's a lot of cards. Because you just want to walk away. Somebody's throwing tantrums. Fucking say it. And somebody's hot, smart, and has a great ass. Somebody's jealous of your competition. Somebody wants to just walk away. They throw tantrums. And they just fucking said it. You're hot, smart, and have a great ass. What's going to happen next? So I think they throw it in your face that somebody's better looking than you are. You're going to unplug and pack your bags. You're leaving this person. You're leaving somebody. And you're going to love the one you're with. So you're leaving so you can go love somebody else. You want to spend time with somebody. What do you mean your boundaries are trash? Send a picture. So this person doesn't like you talking to and texting with this other person. They're jealous. And you do it anyway, secretly. You're doing it in secret, though. And you don't. I don't think you like the fact that you're having to keep this person a secret. This is somebody you're in love with secretly. You're making silent moves to get away from this other person so you can be with this new person. 
Oh, and have sex. You might be planning on having sex also. Watch what you say. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Let's see if we can find out a little bit more. How did this happen? You were hoping that you could spend time with this person and you had reached your limit with hoping. What's being hidden? That you have a resentment, but you're not shattered. Alright, and what's being shown? That you feel like something would be better off. What do you mean better off? Pretending. You're better off if you pretend. Pretend about what? having unconditional love and support for somebody you're pretending like your whole heart is in this what's the truth that somebody is very shallow but nourishing why are you calling them shallow because they chase thrills yeah they chase they like to chase thrills What's going to be the outcome here? Intimacy. What do you mean intimacy? The chase. So this person is shallow and they won't stop. They want to have sex with you. and But not only you. Oh, I don't like that energy at all. How do you feel about them? You're not going to be conflicted and you're not going to apologize when it comes to shit that's happened in the past. What are you not conflicted about? Something that you began that you... It's like, I want to start a new beginning. I want to do... I want to go in a new direction. And I won't be in despair. And you're not sorry either. You want to have a second chance. You're not sorry for leaving this person. Because you're ready to move on to somebody else. Alright. Why is temperance here? Because of union, the truth, and separation. And messages in your dreams. What's the truth? That you're guarded and vulnerable. Guarding yourself. Why are you guarding yourself? Because of lack and doubt. And wearing a facade about your beliefs. Remember you're pretending. What are you going to do about. This is what you're being tempered about. You want to have integration. You want to have union with somebody. And you're guarding yourself. You're pretending like you care about somebody. But you're fixing to leave this person. Alright. Why is judgment here? Because of your higher self. Karma balance and justice. And suffering in the past. Your higher self is saying there's going to be karma, balance, and justice for past lack and suffering. And it's coming through a very passionate spark. The Ace of Swords. Um, why did I say Ace of Swords? You have the Ace of Swords, but you also have the Ace of Wands. Oh, I'm sweating so bad, honey. The passion in this relationship is off the charts. <coughs> All right, your higher self wants to say something. So let's see what the higher self deck would say. What would your higher self say? What would your higher self say? That something needs to change. Strong. Be strong. Strength. Set boundaries. And stay in the light. So you need to change by being strong. Setting boundaries. And staying in the light. Remember we saw the light already I think. Boundaries is what we saw. You don't have good boundaries. It looks like this person keeps trying to have sex with you. You're trying not to have sex with them. But you don't feel worthy for some reason of something better. But you know you would be better off. And you're pretending like you don't have unconditional love or something. Anything else your higher self wants to say? You need to persevere. Don't give up. 
and see this from a different perspective. Look at it from all different vantage points and go with the flow. Alright. Let's see. What else do we need to do? Oh, we need to finish pulling to row. <coughs> control tactics stuck to the table. Somebody's tired of being controlled. Alright, so your higher self is telling you there's going to be karma, balance, and justice for lack and suffering. What lack and suffering? Somebody being detached and cold last summer and not showing somebody any compassion whatsoever. Alright, why is the world here? So you did something last summer that was very... That you hurt somebody. You were cold to them. This... this temperance this i can't control my passion what's not going to end is you being able to control your passion and why is the tower here because there's going to be no distance between you and your family home and commitment so it looks like you're going to have a realization that you want to go back to your family home and commitment and no longer be in denial about this outcome of returning to your family you're going to have a contract, a career, or a commitment. Awesome. And you're going to make a decision this winter to come out of some dark shit that you've been feeling guilty about. The guilt is why you've been closed off. You've been in your comfort zone. You have a twin flame and you haven't been using your intuition about how hot this attraction is. And there's about to be a divine intervention. Alrighty then. Okay, so I want to look at your commitment. You're gonna have a you're gonna have a contract, career, or commitment when you return to your family. Show me what that's gonna look like. Cultivation and expression. Interesting. Looks like you're gonna cultivate a contract, career, or commitment, and express that. You're going to express the future. Ooh. It looks like you're going to make plans to settle down with this person. You have too much drama and the future is here. Alright, show me what's going to be the outcome of the contract, career, or commitment. Saving face came out. You may need to grin and bear and maintain respect and keep your job. Or you need to smile and make nice to get the position you want. Hmm. And that's you over here pretending the ending is here. You may leave a position or be terminated. However, there's always a new opportunity ahead. You may change careers entirely. Alright, uh, why are you saving face in this contract, career, or commitment? Because it's going to help you to move up. You're increasing your power and status. You're going to get a promotion or move to a better home or office. You climb the ladder of success. So not only are you going to save face, you're going to move up. Outcome of moving up. You're going to go on an adventure. You're making exciting work moves that could take you outdoors or on a trip. You'll need to climb steadily to reach your financial goals. And limitations in reverse. Obstacles are not what they seem. You can get around them with some careful thought or simply choose something better for you. So it's time for you to make some decisions about going on this trip that you're going on, it looks like to me. What would this person say to you that you're going to pack your bags to go speak? I don't know why this happened, but I do love you. Alright, what would you say return? I won't let you down, and I wonder how you feel. Alright, well how do they feel? I can't be with you, and I can't get enough of you. So they feel like well, being in a different town is keeping them from being with you. But they want to be desperately. They can't get enough of you. But somebody's saying you let me down. What are y'all going to do about this? 
we don't say, share the same values? What do you mean you don't share the same values? I would do it all again. Whatever you did that was not the same values, they're saying they would do it all again. How do you feel about them doing it all again? I can't reach out. Why can't you reach out? I have too much to lose and I see life differently now. I'm confused now, but I still have feelings for you. It's like they're pretending because there's somebody around. I feel like this person is restraining themselves because there's somebody else around. But they're planning on moving towards you. They're doing it sneakily. They're making silent moves. Damn. What else do we want to know, Spirit? I don't even know what to ask. Is there anything you can tell me about the contract, career, or commitment out of this deck? There's science here and a rescuer, but both are in reverse. So it's like the science can't rescue you. What do you mean science can't rescue you? It has to do with your beauty. What's going to be the outcome for this person? Their soul tribe is here. They have a lot going on with their emotions. And they're not able to grow. So it's like you're in the wrong soul tribe. And it's causing you to feel some kind of way. And you can't grow. What should they do? There's somebody that hasn't had a legacy. You haven't taken a risk on a legacy. So the, and that's why you can't go to the next level. Because you won't take a risk on a legacy, you won't you can't go to the next level. What's gonna be the outcome of taking a risk on a legacy? That's what you're not talking to anybody about. You're going to take a risk. You're not you're just not telling anybody. You got something planned. You got something up your sleeve. You're not telling anybody. You're not even letting me know. <coughs> your spirit guides are hiding it. Anything you want to say here, spirit? You may have a cross watcher. Somebody is going to have blessings. They're going to have courage. And they're going to have financial health. There's some transformation happening. That's bringing a commitment. Yeah, you're fixing to leave a relationship for somebody else. That's what I see over and over again. And I think it's somebody very special to you. Is there any tea we need to know about here? Somebody's into sports. They might be into playing games. And they're going to run away. Why are they running away? Why are they going to run away? Because of sexual protection and not fighting for what you love. Clarify what you mean by that. Somebody's going to get a room because they're tired of arguing and putting you in your place. And there's been evidence of cheating. Somebody's getting kicked to the curb. Ooh, anything else we need to know? There's going to be a divorce because you can't keep a promise. And you don't want to be toxic in your parenting. Somebody's a diamond girl who's born to shine. There she is right there. <laughs> she finally showed up. Oh. Alright, what's going on here? Somebody is awakening that they can trust. And that they have the true love. They have different pages. They're having acceptance. Use your intuition. Somebody's awakening to the trust of true love. And they're on different pages. And they're having to have acceptance. And use your intuition. About a decision. Outcome of the true love you can trust. You have passion. It's protected. And apology. And setting boundaries. Because of somebody's addiction. Anything else we need to know? Somebody has children and it's fate here and now. Your children, it's fate here and now. Wait. 
What do you mean it's fate here and now? Warning, no chemistry. Clarify what you mean? Somebody's going to have time apart because of a past life law and making a decision. Outcome of that. Not learning a spiritual lesson. Put away the computer. Anything else you want us to know? Somebody is being told not to be vulnerable. Why not? Because this person has an obsession. So you can't open up. Spirit's telling me I can't say anything else. Play hard and soulmate. So Spirit is telling me that there's a cross watcher. And that I am not allowed to say anything else. About this situation. How are the angels working here? In your faith. Unity, fire, miracles, prosperity, and the truth with partnership on the bottom of the deck. Alright, what would your best friend say about this situation? May I see please what your best friend would say? Cancel bad vibes. Your offline life matters more. Yeah, there's somebody that might be watching that's a cross watcher and you and the other person both watch this channel and Spirit is saying <clears throat> you already know why she can't say anything about this because you're, you're trying to keep it hidden from the other person who is watching. Alright. Guidance, please. May I have guidance, please, from Dream, Shaman's Dream. Guidance, please, from the Shaman's Dream. The Vanishing Mirror and the Wall. Wow. With its an empty well and it's time to replenish. Number 58, 56, and 16. Number 58. Ego sublimation. Letting go of self-centeredness. Becoming a vessel of possibility. Do you ever wonder if your self-definition has become too rigid? Too fixed around what you've come to learn? So that you contract your life into zones of safe versus unsafe? This here is okay, but over there, well, that might be too risky. Judgment, fear, self-righteousness, and overconfidence are only some of the traits that keep you from evolving. We are all products of our conditioning. So remember that this is part of the human experience. You are not meant to remain static, seeking only what you expect. Even if it appears ambitious, is still too narrow. You go nowhere when you hesitate to move out of your comfort zone. When you focus too much on yourself, this way you become a servant of the ego. It, edge, it edges God out, removing the magic of possibility. Imagine looking into a mirror and seeing only what you are now. If you can let your self-definition soften, moving beyond the veil of your potential, a magical emptiness exists where all things are possible. Look again. Who could you be? What would you see reflected if you allow yourself to be other than how you define yourself now? Nothing less is required of you now. In this moment, let go of who you think you are and allow a new you to emerge. You will recognize yourself as what you are, a partner in co-creation, in service to the divine. Doesn't it feel good? And number 56, the wall. Obstacles, being inconvenienced by life, detours, and non-action. There are moments in your life when you are geared up so sure that your life is on track with such drive and momentum that you are shocked and confused when, that when you encounter a wall. This 
unpredictably occurs outside of your ability to plan, regardless of if you've done everything right in alignment with the divine. It's imperative that you change your attitude now. This temporary roadblock is not an obstacle to blast through. This is not an invitation to push harder, cancel other plans, or worry about who will win or lose. This is a stopping point to enable you to slow down and contemplate the part of the manifesting equation that you and everyone else forgets. Life on life's terms will override your best laid plans. Yes, as inconvenient as it may seem, this experience is an important reminder that you are a human being, not a human doing. Perhaps you're being reminded of your mortality or that you are but a small part of a bigger universe where your destiny intersects with others. Your life may be meant to serve another p purpose at this moment and your attention meant to be directed elsewhere. Consider that this place of temporary non-action is exactly meant to be for you. Perhaps it's because all you desire and have set in motion needs time to coalesce into form on the other side. Could it be that all the elements are not yet in place for its manifestation to be for the highest good of all? Patience is required now and the wisdom that it might be a great time to take a break and contemplate gratitude. What is truly yours will never be walled off from you. That's why you're being self-controlled and seeing the truth about something that you're not ready to end yet. You're not ready to end something. Number 16. Even though you're ready to begin something else, you're not ready to end something. The universe has not allowed you to end it for some reason. Empty well. Nothing here. Time to replenish, diminishing yourself for another. The empty well reveals that there is nothing for you here. The well is dry and the desert is encroaching on your once fertile garden. It is time to face this harsh reality and move on. Give gratitude and thanks for the abundance you have experienced and let spirit guide you to your next destination. This might mean saying goodbye to someone or something or insisting on changing the rules of the game. Stop diminishing yourself for the sake of another. Making yourself small will not produce the results you want. There is a lack of reciprocity of give and take. The empty well tells you that it is time to reclaim what is yours and return what does not belong to you. The shadows cast in your direction are not of your making. You do not need to react or respond to them as they are not real. Simply shine your light upon them and see how it dispels them. These shadows are projections that you are confusing for reality. You may have been offered a shovel to help you dig yourself out of an uncomfortable situation, a bucket to drink from the well. But you cannot dig yourself out of this hole and remember that there is no water to be found in that well. Receive the empty well as a gift. Do not exert your energy and waste your resources by repairing the walls or mending the rope. Follow the watercourse way, the aquifers that run deep in the earth, and you will be led to a new spring oasis. You can find these underground streams these rich natural resources in the subterrane depths of your own heart. So you're finding yourself in a place where you're just no longer going to make any progress. And the universe is not going to allow you to. I can tell you that right now. Because you're being told to get out of this place. And if somebody is willing to help you while you're in this place, don't waste it. Don't waste the precious resources the universe is giving you trying to, to, to fix the situation because it's a wash. It's been a wash. It's just taking you a while to catch up to that fact. All right, Spirit, who are you talking to? Capricorn, number nine, KVK, 
PMRW. Gemini R G D Q H L V number eight P Capricorn T four D I F N M P T Scorpio Z E C T H H J number six. That could actually be Virgo. I don't know. I can't remember. Does the tail go out or come in with Virgo? Look it up. I don't remember. It's either Virgo or Scorpio. I think it's it might be Virgo. L N V C V S P eleven Libra. I'm going to go one more time, and that's going to be it with the dice. Two. Your north node. R-H-Q-M-A-A-E. you got to get in your life purpose, baby. Trinket sweet skin. I brought trinket. I brought trinket song. A piece of selenite flew out. I didn't get very many this time. A piece of selenite. A bear. A feather, an arrow, a key, a piece of thread from the yarn, and a very old infinity sign. This is a very old relationship. A very special relationship. Alright, I hope you got something out of this reading that you'll subscribe, like the video, comment on it. Say hey, 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 it's now or never. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye-bye.